This is very common in China. Yeah, this is a normal scene. So you can see they come in there and you can actually see down there the, the bamboo stick. They kind of carry these things in with, you know, on their backs. Yeah. The sort of elderly um, women usually do it, as you can see. They bring these things in. They put them down. They sell on the side of the road these fresh That's fresh right. vegetables. Unfortunately, and if you buy these things and you think they're fresh, think again. Um, <laughs> these things are not fresh because they've been grown in like... Oh, Who knows when? Man, dude. It's the meat's rough. the worst because yeah. then, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, you just don't know what it is. But the vegetables, they're grown in contaminated soil. They usually use what's called night soil, which is human excrement and urine this, and stuff yeah. and all that stuff. It's not good for you. So... Um, I was under the impression, and I think a lot of foreigners who go to China are under the impression like, oh, look good. It's homegrown, yeah. um, fresh vegetables. And, and you're like thinking, great, this is organic or whatever. Great. No, it, they, yeah, exactly. Great. great. It's, unfortunately, it's anything but that. It's got all the growth hormones on it. Yeah, it's I was going to say, can I say something? I just yeah. don't want to, uh, I don't want to take too long to say this, but I... You know, there's all the always these things that the CCP officials know the places that don't use the hormones or the pesticides or right, whatever, right. right? They're the only ones that know these backdoor, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Those kind of yeah, things. You've yeah, these kind of things. Yep. You know which company I'm talking about. Mm, I do. Um, anyway, what you'll do is you'll you'll see a sign that says, we are not using uh, farmed fish. Like we have uh, our own home raised fish and we don't use hormones and stuff. If you were, and this is where motorcycles come in handy, you ride behind these places where they're actually growing these fish. Mm -hmm. They're chucking a hormones yes, into, into the, the pond water. to get yeah. these massive fish because they can grow, let's say, a carp yeah. four, four or five times heavier yeah. in that short amount of time and then be able to sell all that meat, right? Correct. They're doing it more than the commercial farm sometimes. Yes. So it's the opposite of what you're thinking of in the U.S. where, mm. you know, if we go to a farmer's market when we go to rural America. Yeah. We go out there and we see these people that quite literally grew this stuff themselves. Yeah. In China, yeah, they grew it themselves way worse <laughs> yeah with no oversight yes that's yes. the problem we've seen it because we ride into the areas where they plant and grow these things and we've got footage of it they just spray these like banned chemicals on them whatever they yeah. can yeah remember yeah. we got footage of all that anyway we don't want to get into yeah, that sorry. the whole point of this is this happened yesterday you can see the dates up there okay <laughs> the sixth today's the seventh um and this don't worry, nobody gets hurt, but I want you to pay attention to what happens on just here. You're walking around. This is China every day in a nice little city over here. Let's see what's going on. Selling your vegetables. You might hear a little bit of sound and you're like, hang on a second. There's a little bit of noise. I wonder what that noise could be. Let's check it out. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Pause that there. Now, what you have to understand Don't worry. Is... P people were injured, but nobody died. Yeah, and, and four people were injured, and we didn't show you the injuries because no, this course happened not. over a large scope yeah, of yeah. area. Anyway, this happened to um, a girl I used to work with. Mm -hmm. She got whaled in the head. She permanent brain brain damage. She was from okay. Canada. Anyway, right. um, this is what happens because the Chinese buildings are made so poorly. And yeah. I want people to understand is sometimes you'll see those videos of like the cladding falling off the building. Like, oh, that's just the cladding. You have to understand how integral that is to the yeah. building. It's very heavy. Yeah, look, this is the cladding. So we, we've shown it before here where you just see like, looks like a big peel falling off yeah. the building, right? And that's the, the fascia. Yeah. So, you know, you have the concrete building, then they kind of put this layer, facade, yeah. this facade on there, which makes it look nice. It doesn't actually look nice, but you know what I'm talking about. They just screed something on there. Maybe there's tiles in it. Maybe there's whatever, but that's the face of the building. And that very often falls off in China. And this is what can happen. And this is what did happen here is that falls off. And the people sitting under there, you have no warning. No. You know, you have absolutely no warning. And that's one of the dangers of messing around in the big Chinese cities, yeah. especially in the more rural ones, the third, fourth, fifth tier ones. Um, and this happens in first tier cities. Uh, it does too. But it's the whole tofu yeah. construction, the dofu jia, which we talked about. I talked about it last week, actually. Um, and this is the result is... This is a big, normal street. Everyone's chilling out and then bam, you know. Yeah, this is yesterday, right? Yes, yesterday. And luckily, nobody was was killed. But people do die, you yeah. know, fairly often. So you got to be super careful. Um, yeah, I mean, this happens a lot. Yeah, absolutely. We've got tons of footage of those claddings coming off. Yeah. You know, you don't normally see what happens on the ground level, though. Yeah, that's true. You know when you go and buy vegetables, okay? Yes. Or if you see an advert for vegetables. I do. You'll... I like vegetables. Yeah, and... When people want to sell these kind of vegetables, look, they, they have these amazing like little water droplets on them to make it fresh. Fresh and washed. Washed so, is key. So um, in China, can you guess 
Well, maybe I'll just show you how they can achieve this exact effect. Sure. In order, in order to entice you to buy. Okay. Okay, here's a, a street seller um, over here. He's got some water. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> nope. So you can see he's got his little fl <laughs> flask of water there. Okay, and he's... Uh, it's impressive that he gets three spurts out of one gold. Four. <laughs> Four spurts, you know what I mean? I mean? I'd probably be like one. It's pretty horrible. So he's trying to make it shiny. Yeah, because look, he's putting water droplets on. You can see on that vegetable that he's got there. This so Shandong. that he can so he can uh, put it down. Let's see that again. Yeah, I'll take it back. I'll take That's it. That's a good one. I like this. This is fun. Yeah, yeah Seymour hadn't seen that yet. No. Like, so yeah, to get this effect. Now it's a pro this is tip. like behind the, the, in if the you're, sausage factory. You could do this. Like if you're going to prepare like a salad for your family, <laughs> you know, and you want, it to, you want it to look impressive and fresh, yeah, yeah. all you need is a flask of, of yeah. water, your mouth. Yeah. You don't need a sink anymore. Yeah. Just practice your spitting. I was, just, I was so tired of that pesky sink. I know. And like all you do is get a good spray going yeah. when you spit, right? You got to practice a little bit, mm -hmm. I feel like. And there you go. Water droplets. That's excellent. It looks yeah. like he's doing it on some woodier mushrooms. Maybe. I mean, yeah, it's a kind of a leafy vegetable, isn't it? Oh, maybe. It? Maybe it is. Look, because he like shakes dark... it off. Yeah, you're right. And he gives it that lovely water droplet uh, fresh look. I think look. it might be woodier mushrooms. Oh, so they actually, come in a clump. you're right. They do I come think in a you're clump. right. Anyway. Uh, oh, I wanted to... Can you put put it back on that? I just yeah, want, sure. Put it back on the shiny vegetable or the mid-spit. Either I'll, way. I'll, I'll try find, I'll try find a mid-spit if it's okay. possible. And try and see if I can freeze it right... There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's really cool. I know it's disgusting, but I kind of love it. I mean, it's ingenuity. There yes. you go. It's ingenuity. It's so you want to, you know, this is presentation. It's all about yeah. presentation. Just don't let people see how you do it. Right. That was his first mistake. <laughs> So you, know, you guys, you guys know that we lived in China over a decade, right? Yeah, yeah. And so that's why you're probably here. It's not because there's just some random people talking about sure. China. So actually, I'll give you a little insight on this. There mm -hmm. is a way to market vegetables in China that's exactly the opposite of this. And yeah. oftentimes you go to the um, the, the market, market yeah. and you'll find because the whole thing about when you're in the wet market and you're buying vegetables, you have to haggle. You you must. If you yeah. don't, then you're screwed. Yeah. Right? yeah. You'll just be taken advantage of progressively worse throughout your trip there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like he paid full price. I'll yeah, yeah. And then they like <laughs> pass it down, <laughs> pass it down the line. Yeah. Um, so anyway, when you're doing that, mm -hmm. obviously there's a bunch of old ladies that are trying to sell their vegetables that they grew in their garden or whatever, right? Yeah. And they're gonna try to outcompete each other for a sale. Right, maybe one's a little cheaper. Maybe one says mine's quality's better. But yeah. one marketing technique, weirdly enough, in China is to cover the vegetables in dirt. Yes, which is the opposite of this. Yes, uh, and the reason is I know it sounds weird, but that that means it wasn't like a battery farm. It's like, oh, I got this naturally from my organic. It also makes soil. it look like it's more fresh. It's yeah. just been pulled just out been of the pinned. ground. But they, we've seen this. Seen they this put when the they dirt start. They on. Come with a bag of dirt. <laughs> Get the vegetables wet and then sprinkle the dirt on so they yeah. get all mud cake. Exactly. Basically. So it's like, oh, look how fresh these are. Yeah. Do you think they spit on it first, to, you know, to get I the water? I think this may be part of it. The guy just yeah. hasn't added the dirt yet. It's entirely possible. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's some, <laughs> some ingenuity for that's you right there. I like that yeah. one. Thanks for putting that in. Yeah, there. no worries. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a good it's, spit. Yeah, yeah. He's good at it. He's good at what he does. He is. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Some years of practice. Yep. <laughs> What's the storyline here? I mean, what is this bullshit? <laughs> what? Language. <laughs> With new energy, we can. <laughs> I'm in, Leonardo. I'm in. So, As if he would ever own this car. <laughs> yeah, he would see his, his expression. He's like, what is this piece of I shit? This is the worst car, <laughs> I've, worst ever car I've ever driven. Pepper on top, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit too much for me. Wow. That's a little too much for me.